Hey y'all, I'm Lucid Faith, and today I want to talk about Grand Companies. It's a feature you unlock pretty early on in Final Fantasy XIV, and I want to talk about how to rank up quickly and why you should. Let's do this. Now, before we jump in too deep, let's talk about how there are three Grand Companies to choose from. You have the Order of the Twin Adder, the Immortal Flames, and the Maelstorm. Now, the differences between these is really just cosmetic and affects PvP, and that's it. Also, you can change your Grand Company later on. First time's free, after that there's a small fee, and when you change, you start at the lowest rank of the whatever you change to, but if you go back, you retain your rank. So it's possible to max out all three grand companies if you really want to. Quick tidbit, to actually rank up, go to your personnel officer and select apply for promotion, and then it'll pop up a box with the requirements on what you actually need to do. Now that you've joined a grand company, how do you rank up? Well, there's a couple mechanics. First off, our company seals. You get these from doing a variety of activities and you eventually get enough of them to turn them in in order to rank up. Now, in addition to that, you also have your very own grand company hunting log, which different ranks will have you complete one of the three portions. And lastly, there are a couple side quests that are required to do the rank ups. Now, links to those quests will be down in the description below, but the game does tell you when you need to do these and who to talk to and everything to get those quests done. For the Grand Company Seals, you get these in a variety of ways. Now, let's walk through them. First off, we have Fates. Just completing any fate, any level, will get you some Grand company seals honestly it's a great way to do it for xp and seals next up is daily roulettes now there are two roulettes that you can actually do to get seals these are the leveling roulettes and the guild heist roulette unfortunately those are the only two and you can only do them once a day but it's something next up are supply and provision missions now these are one a day missions you can do for your grand company for gathering and crafting requests so they're going to ask you to go gather or craft a certain number of items it could be gathering ore, catching fish making different armors different stuff like that so if you go out do that honestly you can buy it off the auction house if you really want to wouldn't recommend it but you can go get the items bring them back turn them in you'll get a nice pile of experience and seals what's cool is if you give them high quality versions of what they're asking all the rewards double so that's going to be double experience and double seals there are also special leave quests known as guild leaves that you can do for your grand company actually any of the grand companies so you can always take these on and do them for experience and seals but if you do a quest that is for your grand company say you're in twin adder and you do a twin adder guild leave you'll get bonus experience and seals so if you have a whole bunch of those leave quest points laying around it might be worth a shot now the last way and preferred way for a lot of people to earn seals passively is by doing expert deliveries but there's a catch you don't unlock expert deliveries until your sergeant second class rank in your grand company which means you'll need to do the before mentioned methods until you get here now what are expert delivery missions now what they are is you can turn in items rare items that you can sell to vendors to your grand company for seals so these are going to be your green items your pink items your blue items that kind of stuff the catch is again you have to be able to sell the item so if you can't sell it to a vendor you can't turn it into your grand company but other than that you can just run dungeons tanks and healers especially be great with this run dungeons just roll greed 
or need on every item that pops up. I would say go with greed if you don't actually need it to be nice. So go through, roll greed on every item you see, and then after you're done spamming dungeons or doing your dailies, you'll have some extra equipment. Take those to your personnel officer and just turn them in for seals. It's a win-win. Now let's talk about why you want to rank up in your grand company. And the reason to do that is one, there's an expanding list of items available to you as you rank up. This includes weapons, armor, crafting materials, and housing items, among other things. One of the items I love getting are glamour prisms, those little items you use for your cosmetics. Grand Company Seals is a really cheap and easy way of getting your Glamour Prisms. Now the next, in my opinion, more exciting reason why you would want to level up is to get access to squadrons. You get access to squadrons at rank 1st lieutenant. Once you do that, you now have access to your very own group of NPCs that you get to mold and send on missions for you and different cool things. Honestly, the system's pretty deep, and I haven't investigated it very much, but it looks really cool. I'm kind of tempted to do a video over squadrons when I get to Stormblood, because in Stormblood, you apparently get the access to go on dungeons with your people in your squadron. So you can customize your team and then just go in with a team of NPCs. For me, that's kind of cool, especially because I hate DPS queues. Um, so I'm really excited about that, but I don't know anything about it. But again, you have to be at rank first lieutenant to even unlock squadrons and even have the option of doing that eventually. Okay, so after all of that, how do you actually rank up quick? It's pretty simple. You're going to spam fates and work on that hunting log at first. The hunting log also gives you seals that you can use to rank up and it's required anyways. Then as you go through, you'll start hitting your quest markers. You'll do those real quick. Those are linked down in the description again if you need them. And once you hit Sergeant Second Class, you can start doing expert delivery to start turning in items. So say you're a DPS, you can go to spam fates while in queue for your dungeons to help you level. And when you complete the dungeons, you'll get items that you can then turn into your grand company and rinse and repeat, and it becomes pretty smooth. So there you go. And that's my guide to grand companies, how to rank up, and why you should. If you enjoyed it, please comment, like, and subscribe. I am Lucid Faith. It has been a pleasure doing the video for you. If you want to chat more about this or anything else gaming related, I do stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Drop on by and say hi. But uh, that's all for now. Hope you have a great day. And always remember that you matter. See you in the next one.